Since opening last year, thousands of people from around the world have enjoyed Montgomery Whitewater, one of only three man-made rivers in the country. And now park leaders say they are gearing up for new adventures. WSFA 12 News anchor Rosanna Smith takes a look ahead. Montgomery Whitewater is one of only three recirculating artificial whitewater river channels in the U.S. Chief Executive Officer Jeffrey Gustin has been part of all three. He says he's amazed at what's been accomplished in just one year. The amenity is there to, you know, not just provide the base that it was set out to be, but lots of opportunity to continue to grow. While the rapids have drawn crowds, new attractions like expanded hiking and biking trails and zip line courses will open in November. An aerial ropes course going in, which is essentially a navigable um, course at the tree level down behind the powder magazine. Um, there's 18 different stations. Gustin believes the success of Montgomery Whitewater would not have come without the collaborative efforts of county, city and state leaders. See, there's a lot of people that stepped up and made sure this thing did not fail and, and treated it like the investment that it is. It's doing what we visioned it would do and probably even more. Montgomery County Commission Chairman Doug Singleton says Montgomery Whitewater has been a catalyst for economic development and helped stabilize the community's relationship with Maxwell Air Force Base. Which is extremely important that we have great quality of life, not only for our residents, but for also for our military families. Singleton says getting to this point didn't come without challenges. During construction, the cost of goods skyrocketed. The county went $37.6 million in debt for the project. It's paying $1.9 million per year over the course of 30 years. The county's on the hook just for the pay the bond issue, which is the $1.9 million per year. And again, we're collecting around $2 million per year in the rental tax. And we're generating the funding to pay that every year, so there's no additional cost to the county or the taxpayers. Singleton says a new additions on the way will only bring in more revenue for the area, but won't add any cost. We will not incur any more debt at Montgomery Whitewater um, unless down the road uh, we decide to add something else to the park, something new that we have not thought about. He believes as Montgomery Whitewater grows, it will continue to bring in people from around the world. It's just a crown jewel for Montgomery to have the finest outdoor recreational facility in the world. Rosanna Smith in Montgomery, WSFA 12 News. The other two facilities like it are in North Carolina and Oklahoma. And you don't have to be a whitewater rafter. This fall and winter at Montgomery Whitewater, you can expect concerts, trivia contests, 5Ks and fun runs, even a polar plunge and ice skating. You can check out Montgomery Whitewater's website for all the details.